Top property management hacks for landlords to protect their investment and be able to increase their rents. Hey everyone, it's Nick McLean with Nick McLean Real Estate Group and owner of M Property Management, a full service property management company serving all of North Central Washington. And I'm about to give you some property management hacks to pre prevent some damage, protect your asset, and also be able to increase or command more rents. So not just charge it and lose your tenants, but actually want them to get them to want to pay you and choose your property over another property. And the first thing I want to point out is, you know, when it comes to appliances, a new set of appliances, and I know being a landlord, you're a little frugal here, but, but tenants will actually pay you more money for a nice set of appliances, like a nice clean set, flat top stove, right? A nice refrigerator, a nice microwave, built-in microwave. They'll pay you extra. You look at new apartment complexes, they're commanding much higher rents than normal places, normal duplexes or, or similar, uh, similar units because they have newer appliances. They also have nice new flooring. And, you know, we look for LVP flooring or some resistant, you know, wear resistant material, not just carpet, but, you know, a nice wear resistant material like LVP, luxury vinyl planks. When it comes to appliances on the refrigerator, a nice hack that I, I learned from, uh, from our investors and being in property management is don't have an ice maker or a water, uh, a water mach machine in your refrigerator, right? Get rid of that line. That line causes a lot of damage over the years. We see that fail a lot. We see that when people leave, it leaks, it has a slow leak and it causes a lot of damage. So get rid of that water line when it comes to your refrigerators. That's a big one. The second thing I could say too is when it comes to sheds on your property, we don't recommend having a shed on your property. If you allow access to the shed to a tenant, they're going to fill it up. Just like if you give them access to the garage, they're going to fill up the garage. We don't see a huge premium when it comes to sheds at all. There's not a huge premium, right? They, now it might be an incentive, but they're going to fill it up. And if you, if they ever leave, they're probably going to leave stuff behind, which is added expense for you to trash out. Right? And do you really want to have a battle and go collect rent? No, you don't. don't. You don't want to do that. Right? Not at all. Now, a fresh set of paint will get you more money. I see, I see major mistakes when it comes to turning over. So your tenant moves out and you have another tenant that wants to move in or you want to put it on the marketplace. Now, here's the thing. The marketplace is hot, so you're going to get tenants, but we want to command the most money. So a fresh set of paint and also light fixtures, you know, get new light fixtures, you know, get those twin packs at, at Lowe's, Home Depot, those LEDs, make it shine, make it, make it pop, have really good blinds in there. It doesn't have to be super high end blinds, but nice blinds because it's going to get really hot in the summer in our area. And these blinds are going to make it more comfortable for the tenant. And if they're comfortable, more, they're more likely to stay. Right? And it's also going to put less strain on your HVAC and your ACs. I know this, when it gets to 120 and you don't have proper blinds, the tenant's not going to go out and spend money on nice blinds and curtains. They're not going to do it. So that house, is, that house or unit is going to be like a greenhouse and your HVAC cannot keep up. It cannot keep up. Now, the, a major downfall that we see people that manage their own properties is they, the tenant's responsible for the filters in the HVACs, but they don't do it. They forget and they get really dirty and these HVACs fail and they're going to fail when it's super cold and they're going to fail when it's super hot and you're going to get a phone call. So at our company, we're really proactive in making sure when we do an inspection that that filter's changed out. I just changed out one personally for the company yesterday because I was happened to be in the unit for one of our clients and I pulled it out super dirty. Changed it out. Super easy fix. $10, $20 for a filter. It's going to save you a lot of time. Plus, you're, if, you're, if your tenants are changing out those filters, their bills are going to be lower. And if their bills are lower, right, if they're paying for the electricity, they're going to stay there longer, right? If you have an ex, a high, highly costly place to live, they're going to leave you for something over 30 bucks. They're not going to cancel Netflix. They're going to find a different apartment, okay? So let's keep them really comfortable. So my, those are my hacks and then my tips, my tricks for uh, property management or for landlords that are doing their own property management. If you have any... Uh, any questions when it comes to property management, all the, the changes that we've seen since COVID when it comes to you know, tenant rights, landlord rights, reach out to us. We're always here to help. We want to be your resource.